and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we're the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about the single best knee strengthening and stretch exercises at home. That's right, Bob. And no equipment, right? Or some equipment, maybe. Very little. Okay. Uh, as, as a matter of fact, we're gonna. This is gonna do hamstrings, quadriceps, calf muscle, and we're gonna improve balance as well, which is a real nice to have as you get older. I think you're increasing butt strength too. Oh, that you cannot forget the hip, that gluteus maximus. Well, Brad, we're we're trying to get right into it. So oh, let's that's get right. Started. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So actually, let's jump right into it. Right there, we go. All awesome. Right. So this is, this is, I thought about this one for quite a while, Bob. Actually, this is an updated I, video. I know you did because I have thought about the same thing yes. and we both came to the same solution. Well, there you go. Then, you know, two, two great minds. This is <laughs> really good for you people then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to start. You, you, you don't necessarily need something to hold on for a balance. I got a, a buoy stick. You could use a cane. You could use a wall, a piece you of furniture. You could use a furniture. That's what I use all the time. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do, f start with your feet about shoulder width wide. And we're going to step back. I'm going to go through it slowly first and explain a little bit. Step back into a lunge, good posture. And you're going to go down as far as you feel comfortable. But don't bang your kneecap into the floor because that hurts. So we're just going down to within an inch or two of that. Now the next step is, and that's why I need something to balance here because I'm going slow especially. I'm going to bring this up. And I'm going to hip, flex my hip as high as I feel comfortable. And then look down here at this foot. I'm going to add up on my uh, heel rise. So I'm up on my toes or forefoot. And that's important because that's going to help that calf. And it's going to stress your balance and give you a little right. balance exercise as well. And in this case, what you might have seen with Brad, he now has support on both sides. Exactly. So back to here, up. And to here. And then what you do is once you feel comfortable with it, you continue to do it as many reps as you feel comfortable. If you wanted to make it more difficult because it's becoming too easy. It's pretty difficult already, man. Yeah. Well, eliminate one side and it'll sure make it this way, you know. And you're working on your balance even more. You can see the how I'm stressed a little bit with my balance when I take my both hands off. You could put an ankle weight on. Sure. Give you a little more resistance. I think most people will be pretty fine without any. Right. I'm starting to breathe. Make sure you do it both legs and yes. up and down. Up on the toe and down. So you're going to look up and down. That's just a little frill I put in there for the fun of it. Now, the thing about this, it's very comprehensive. It covers a lot of muscles. You got the quadricep working. You got the hip extensions working. You got the calf muscles working. So you really almost get a, a, a even the hamstrings are probably jumping a little bit. There oh, too. absolutely, so, Bob. I feel everything from here all the way down. I'm feeling strong like bull, well, Bob. The other thing is it's functional, Brad. It is. So when you're going to pick something off the floor, you're going to, right away, that's going to kick in that muscle memory like, oh, I've done something like this before. And you automatically go like go down this. like that, yes. Right. Good body and mechanics. Good control. Um, if you have knee pain, um, you can kind of go knees over toes or knees not over toes, whatever one is more comfortable. Right, for your and knee. You're exactly. training your knee in a controlled circumstance. Exactly. So, no, it's it's a great one uh, for, for life. Right. You know, to, to treat you for life. But wait, Bob, there's more. All right, let's observe see the title. Strengthening. That was a strengthening aspect. Sure. One exercise doing from the hip to the down to the ankle. Now with a stretch, and I condense this into one smooth stretch. You're going to need either a belt. I'm going to use a stretch strap. You could ro use a rolled up sheet, but it wouldn't be as easy. I'll never use yeah. a rolled up sheet. <laughs> you can, though, sure. sure. Uh, you know, um, if you use a belt, get a loop on it and put it around your foot. Like this. These stretch traps are really inexpensive. They are. They're, they're not really that much. nice. Yeah. And the loops are really handy dandies, yeah. especially if you have any grip problem. So, what I'm going to do is make sure the, the loop on the bottom, you have to have your shoe on. Don't do it with a shoe off because it 
allows for a better stretch. And then you, it's a little easier too. So I'm gonna keep my knees straight. And at this point, I'm gonna pull. And Bob, can you point out the dorsiflexion stretch? Yeah, look at how his ankle is going from here to here, like that. So you're getting a good calf stretch here. Yep. You, uh, it could be argued, Brad, you could even stretch it with the knee bent a little bit. Yes, like that. Good idea. that's an excellent both, point. Both sides of the gastroc yeah. and uh, soleus. Yeah. And see with the stretch strap, I, I, I just go like this so I don't have to grip. I'm, I'm using right. my wrist. Easy on the, on the hands. Yeah. You're going to large joint, so it's not as hard on the joints. You know, and I just read an article about the importance of stretching for longer duration versus short. I, I personally they go back and forth on the brand. Yeah, I, I personally respect their research, but I personally do not hold 30 seconds. Right. Unless there's a certain circumstance. But anyways, I'm going to go up and I'm going to get my hamstring. So I'm going to lower this down into the crux of the foot, but you don't have to, whatever's comfortable. Keep my knee straight, relax. And I'm getting all hamstring right now and I can feel a nice, comfortable, and I can get more aggressive if I want. And I'm going to hold that, and I can go down and do Go, 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 go. Oh, Bob, <laughs> it's so nice to have a little extra motivation. Yeah, now, this is right. the final thing. So it's here. I'm going to keep it up here. And I'm going I like to this one. drop it out to the side. And boy, does this get the medial hamstring and the groin muscles all at once. And the gravity is doing most of the yeah. work. The strap is just maintaining control. Now, if you start off and you're only up like... This, that's yep. fine. Yep. Just work your way over. Absolutely. You know, you might want to bring this knee up for comfort. It's your choice. So I'll go through this a little quickly or so. Yeah, just boom, 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 Is boom. quicklier a, a word? Yes. Oh, well, good. Know, quicker, are you quicker? Are, yeah, we got to get our English quickly. majors. They'll let us know. Yeah. I'm telling you, some of those people write comments. I, they must be English teachers because they are very good at uh, correcting us. They're Karens. They're <laughs> Karens. Good gosh. So stretch here, stretch here, and drop it out to here. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. He's and done. then you can repeat, you know, or hold for 30 seconds or repeat. Calf, hamstring, hip oh. adductors. And at this point, look at that. He gets right up. I guess, whatever. And Anyways. you'll do both sides, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, right now my right leg feels... Stronger, more flexible. I think I could do the polka right now. I think a lot of people don't even know what the polka is, probably, Brad. Well, that may be Midwest, true. Midwest, you come, know what come a polka up is. To, Yeah, Midwest to a wedding, a traditional Wisconsin wedding. And more By the way, goodness. our giveaway this week oh, that's is right. the Booyah Stick. Go to our website, bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. Or go to Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top the, of the page. The top of the page. We do want to mention our podcast, too, Brad. We're, we we're really podcast should, now. yes. Check them out. A lot of fun. Yeah, especially when you're driving. It's such a pleasant thing to get educated, listen to our guests. Listen to you us. You can turn the volume down when, when we're, we're speaking. Talking, right. Turn it on. They actually have an app for that. They should. <laughs> the Bob and Brad deletion app. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so. good. Be careful in everything that you do. Yeah, that's right. 